Hi, and welcome to another type of light screencast from Winans Creative. Uh, today we're going to talk about the Meta Creator extension. Uh, this is a great little extension developed by Felix Pfeiffer, and uh, what it does is it solves a problem that I think every type of light user has encountered at some point or another. Uh, basically, if you're using the gallery content element or perhaps the downloads content element and you have a folder or a large set of images that you need to render out on the front end, um, basically there's some options within Typo Light and, and uh, you've, as far as sorting order, but maybe you want a little bit more control over that or maybe you want to give some t context to those images or files with uh, uh, very thorough descriptions or alt tags or for search engine optimization purposes because uh, by default Typo Light uses the file name. Um, what you want to be able to do is, is uh, drop a what's called a meta text file into that image directory and Typo Light will then use that in order to give those images context and render those out on the front end. Uh, so what we're going to do today is essentially I'm, I'm starting with a blank page. We're going to take a previously uploaded folder of images here. Uh, again, you need to upload those through the file manager or FTP to have them available on your website before you can uh, add the meta files to those. Uh, so you can see here we're going to create a gallery out of our uh, advertising folder here. Uh, if you click on the meta creator extension, uh, what we're going to do is create a initial meta file. I'm going to name this advertising for the advertising folder. Select the advertising folder as my destination directory so that it'll sit in the, that folder. Uh, you can have multilingual meta, file, meta text files. Um, in this case, we're going to label this one as English. You can do as many uh, languages as you want for your meta files, and depending on the uh, language setting of the user's browser, it'll uh, use the appropriate one. Uh, and you can set the type here. You can see here we have either gallery or uh, the downloads content element as an option. That's uh, you know great for if you want to uh, use the you know file downloads like PDFs or even image files and things like that. Uh, you have the option to have separate meta files for each. Um, it also has a great little option here to just do an autofill uh, of your entire directory. Uh, so you see we have here the autofill option. Uh, we can click uh, save and edit and what it does is scans the directory and basically pulls all of our files into our meta text file here uh, which is really nice and quick and handy. Uh, we also have the option up here to always add a new image if we happen to add new ones as well. Uh, and you can, see, you can see it takes the default uh, alphabetical sorting order and puts them in that order but you can always rearrange them uh, using typo lights drag and drop. If you go in and edit those, uh, you can see we're referencing this image uh, with the file system. And uh, basically, you have the option to choose the display name. So uh, I'm just going to change that right now. And uh, have the also the option to specify an alternative hyperlink for that image if you choose, uh, as well as a full length description uh, of that as well. And Basically, that gives you complete control over the how your image is being rendered and displayed on the front end. So in this case, I'm just going to save and close this one. You can see that the setting here has been applied. Uh, so let's go and add our content element to the page. We're going to select Gallery. Then we're going to come down here, select our advertising folder. If you scan down, you can see our meta English text file is included there. Uh, let's constrain some image widths and heights and set some general settings on those. And uh, for the order by setting, we can see here we can choose our meta file as the, the sorting option for that. Um, so let's go ahead and save and close. And if we refresh on the front end, you can see we have our gallery. And you can see right here, it's using our meta text file to render out the description uh, and also in the light box window as well. Uh, so you can go through and do that for all your images here and essentially uh, do some really thorough search engine optimization and just give some nice context to those images uh, aside from just their file name. Uh, that's about it. Uh, stay tuned for another screencast coming soon. Thanks very much.